Hey everyone, how's it going? Oxpus here and welcome back to Uni Cross. So, we just got Foretellers, we got Kyrie X, we got a bunch of updates. I just released a video that actually talked about all the Foreteller medals and comparing them to other medals and showing them their value, especially for a lot of people who have Kyrie X. And if you guys don't have Kyrie X, you should be pulling for Kyrie X. So I really highly recommend to go check out that video. Uh, in that video, I did not know it was released yet. I didn't know what the banners looked like or anything. It was just me talking about the medals and what the description was, what their multiplier was, and breaking it down and comparing to other medals that don't look as good but are just as good. So if you guys want to know more about the foretellers, go check out that video. But for now, let's go through this update together and hopefully... We make some good decisions today. There's a lot of stuff to choose from and only so much jewels to go with. Especially after I pulled all those tune medals and I did the pull battle against Za, which was really, really... It was, I had a lot of fun with that video. Let's just put it that way. So, notices. Uh, what do we got here? First off is the gem board, guys. The gem board, uh, now that we have all these boards all right now, uh, this board isn't ideal for the current situation. That being Kyrie X, being all the foretellers, and all the other avatar boards that we do have released. I did look over the notice a little bit already. It is 3.51 uh, a.m. But basically in here, you get yourself 5 power gems, speed gems, or magic gems if you spend 2,000 jewels along with... All these over here. The only thing that matters in this board is the gems and then magic broom. Attack boost 3, max SP gauge 1. It's going to be re re L-class very fast because attack boost 5 and attack boost 4 are going to be the two skills you guys want to be using um, from now on. Attack boost 3, max is just good for the medals that are not as important but you need to use for certain uh, prod mode quests or something like that. Besides that, value here is gems and magic brooms. And at the moment, with everything going on... I only recommend this if you need 5 power gems and you have no other way of getting them to upgrade your Keyblade to do better in Coliseum before it ends or for a high score challenge that comes out or if you want to rush your Keyblades. But again, you don't have to rush your Keyblades. Focus on one that goes with your medals and you guys should be fine. So that is the Magic Gem board, the deal. At the moment with everything going on again, it, it is, it's a good skip for a lot of people, especially with all the Avatar boards out right now that also give you gems along with a bunch of other stuff. So that's the Gem board, Black Friday Avatar boards, and this is what I'm talking about. Now I know a lot of you guys already know what's going on besides how amazing these Avatar look, especially the Maleficent Dragon one. Whew, I love it so much. It looks so, so good. But uh, right here, guys, this is what's in these boards. So, for the Bambi boards, which are adorable, the Chipdale, Sids, Magic Mirrors, and a Magic Broom. Uh, <laughs> a Magic Broom, eh? So, that is not that great. The skills here are a def Defense Boost 4, which has its place, but it's not needed in like 90% of the game. Only like 10% of this game you need a Defense Boost 4. Attack Boost 4, Mass XP Gauge 1, very good. Attack Boost 5. Nobody uses the attack boost 5s, 4s, they all use the max because maxes are given out constantly. You guys want that constant damage. Even for Coliseum, every event, you want to take away that RNG. Attack boost 5 is not that great. Here's a speed gem. Like I said, you can buy these boards and get speed gems. Not as much as the gem boards, but it does add up while you're getting a lot of good skills with it. In this case, attack boost 5 max, SP gauge 1 is the best skill on this board. Uh, for the Maleficent Dragon board, uh, the, the perk up here, there is no perk on this Bambi stuff apparently. It could be a mis, uh, misprint or something, but yeah. Over here, the Dragon Maleficent Snuggly gives you skill perk plus 3, which is really good if you guys don't have an avatar part for that. Uh, right here, Chip Dales, all the basics, Magic Mirrors times 6, which is nice, and a Magic Broom. Um, you guys might not know why I'm doing that face when it comes to this, but we got a Magic Broom in this board. So... This board has a lot of value because of the attack boost for max SP gauge 1 and second chance 2. If you guys are doing Hades Cup right now, I did that Hades Cup uh, free to play video. And second chance 2 is highly recommended to every single player out there. All of you guys, if you're not competing for high score challenge, not high score challenge, Coliseum right now. If you feel like you're not going to make top 10,000, uh, buy the second chance 2 right now. Even if second chance 3 comes out in an avatar board, most likely you'll replace it. Or... Uh, you guys just don't really need it that much. Second Chance 2 is more than enough in this game. That procs almost like every single battle. I, I, I've rarely had Second Chance 2 not proc. And when it's fully leveled up, 20 out of 20. When you fully level it up, 20 out of 20 or 25 out of 25. Um, 
it, it procs all the time, guys. You don't need second chance three. Buy the second chance two if you need attack boost four, max SP gauge one along with that. Uh, the skill in the middle, attack boost, sorry, attack boost five. No, four. That is four. <laughs> I was looking, I'm like, is that a five? No, the five is just the V. <laughs> so anyways, attack boost four, max, max SP gauge one and a second chance two. Really good. Magic gems are there and the avatar looks pretty cool along with the skill perk. So the dragon boards have a lot more value than the Bambi boards. Uh, again, second chance trumps defense boost in my opinion. There are certain quests where you need more turns to survive and second chance is only good for one death where Defense Boost 4 will prevent you from dying for multiple turns. So it's give or take, but a Defense Boost 4 is more everywhere. Second Chance 2 is very, very, very important to have one copy on in your buff medal for every single setup you guys use. You need Second Chance 2 for a lot of the content and especially Coliseum. So, best board here is the Dragon Maleficent. Also looks amazing. Uh, you guys got to do what you got to do. There's 2,000 jewels each one. Buy whatever you need. You only need one second chance in your game. Second chance two. If you have five copies, it doesn't matter. You'll only be revived once per battle. So every group of enemy you hit, you can be revived once for the second chance skill. Doesn't matter if you have five copies on every single medal. It's not going to revive you five times in that match. It'll only revive you once. And then when you move along to the next group in another room, it'll let you revive again. So you only need one copy, guys. That's it. Uh, that's the boards. Let's go into... I'm going to skip out on the EX medals until near the end of this video. Talk about it just a little bit more. And again, I have a whole video for that. I want to separate that. So that's the Black Friday deal for the Avatar boards. Now the Pigster uh, Spirit Parts. Uh, they're adorable. If you guys love pigs, you know what you're going to go for. It's one of those loot boxes again. It's a blind box, so you have a chance at all these parts here at random. But once you acquire the parts, you won't get it again. So you can buy out the whole thing. Let's go look in the shop to see how many there is. It'll tell you 17 out of 17. You times that by 300 jewels, and you guys are looking at, uh, I think of what, around 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So 5,100. 5,100 jewels if you want all of them. Um, if you want to get lucky, then you don't need to do all the pulls, but it might take you all the pulls to get the certain pig you guys want. Um, so that's up to you. That's cosmetics. If it makes you happy, go for it, guys. Remember, everything gets replaced eventually, but avatar parts are adorable and just bring so much joy to a lot of people. So have fun with the game, guys, before you get serious with it. Because, you know, fun versus uh, competitive fun always trumps in my opinion if you're having fun with the game you'll play it longer if you're stressing out and competing all the time you'll probably play it if you're really competitive and good and you make high rankings but if you're trying to be competitive and it doesn't turn out good it stresses you out so go with fun first it's <laughs> just my opinion uh what, what else we got here and booster challenge this should be just like the power one shouldn't be too hard if it's hard or some people need guidance. I'll make a video out of it, but it should be pretty straightforward just like the last one and this one's gonna last until No, the event will end on November 30th, but the boost Why won't you tell me how much the boost how long does the boost last? Uh, do you guys see it? event period thing complete the series? Yeah, and booster temporary magic difficulty check for more info and details on boosters no, that's not what I wanted. And Blues Retain for this event will expire on November 30th. Okay, I guess these are only here for six days. Don't ask me, guys. It is the 24th, right? Yeah, it's the 24th. It's only here for six days. So get going if you need it for Coliseum. If your magic medals are your best medals, Coliseum, rush it. Rush it, guys. Or if you need your magic medals like Trickmaster to pass the Hades Cup, get this first. As soon as you complete the quest, it act activates automatically, 40% boost after you get all three of them. So, next part is bonus jewels and zero AP campaign are back. Plus, we're getting 3,000 jewels as a special Black Friday login. So, after the 24th, when you guys log in, you're getting 3,000 jewels all the way until December 24th. So, what does that mean? It's time to reroll. If you're new and you didn't get Kyrie X last time and you don't feel like your account's good enough, or if you're just new in general, uh, Reroll the count over and over and over. You're going to get th a free 3,000 jewels, which is enough for a pull for the Kyrie X. And when you do the introduction and all that, you guys should have enough for two pulls because it's a falling price deal. We're going to talk about that in a second. 
uh, jewel campaign. I still think this is terrible. If you spend the 14,700, you only get 1,300 bonus jewels. I feel like that should be a loss, a lot more. Uh, maybe like 3,000 jewels, so it's an extra pull because you bought their best package. But they haven't changed this since the beginning. I don't think they're ever going to change this. To them, this is value. To me, uh, it's nothing. Uh, you buy 6,600 jewels, you get an extra 400, which is not good enough for anything. Just my opinion. Uh, not that great of a deal if you guys are going to do it. But zero AP is here until December 5th. Go crazy. If you're free to play, farm those daily events where you farm Hueys, Deweys, or Louis, the airplanes. Farm your uh, Fantasia Mickey A's. Farm your Fairy Godmothers. Just do it. Zero AP. Just spam those quests. You guys can complete story mode another time. Spam the experience medals, the evolved medals. You guys are going to need them as you go through the game. Uh, make a stack of 99 of each and you guys should be okay after that go for story go for proud mode Go for whatever you guys want to go for but farm those quests. They're in the special quest tab I'm gonna show you guys right now. Not special. Sorry. Or is it special? <laughs> I'm having a special moment right now. It is special. So what I'm talking about is these quests right here So evolve metals you guys want to go for that you guys want to farm this as well uh, Fant Fantasia Mickey A's along with the Ying Sids. You guys want to farm that. Farm your materials to level up your Keyblades. Look up the wikis to see how much you need. These Evolve Metals here, these are free to play. If you're free to play, farm those. Mithril Madness, very important to farm. Not only does it cost so much when it's not a zero AP campaign, but it's only on Saturday and Sunday and you cannot advance your Keyblades without these uh, Mithrils. So farm this to enough for each keyblade it's highly 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 recommended um, when you start a new account or you have a new keyblade if you haven't locked all the keyblades very important you need to farm a lot of these crystals shards all that guys go crazy with this quest look up the wiki um khux wiki put that on google search and you guys will find it click on keyblades and it'll tell you how much you need of each material and farm that amount very important during zero ap so let's go back to the notices and uh, right here, the Kyrie event, like I said, if you're new or you're fairly new, like 15 days, 20 days, 30 days, and you don't have a Kyrie EX, I would say save your main account and then uh, re-roll. Re-roll your account. What does, what does that mean? Uh, log in, do the tutorial, pull for the Kyrie EX banner with the amount of jewels you guys have, especially 3,000 we're getting for free. And if you don't get her, you delete it. You uninstall the account, put it back in if you're iOS. If you're Android, you just got to delete the actual catch, the memory of the, the thing. You don't have to re-download from the memory store, from the memory store, from the Google Play Store. You can just delete the actual clear data and then go back in. So, re-roll your account, get Kyrie X, you guys are set. This is very important for future content and all that, just to have an easy time. This metal is amazing, and it's the only one at the moment I recommend to reroll over and over and over. Later on, um, this also goes towards this banner. If you guys don't have enough to pull right now, let's say you're at 15,000 jewels and you don't feel like risking it and you want other stuff, avatar boards are gonna do better for you. Uh, maybe you're saving for something else or you just wanna save up for another re-release of this banner. There's also another version of this metal coming out. It's called Illustrated Xion EX. It's reversed, it buffs your reverse metals. So if you guys wanna save for that, you can. If you don't wanna spend your jewels right now because you don't think you have enough or you're not lucky enough and you wanna make a bigger pile of jewels, this banner will Will come back frequently because it is a game changing breaking metal you need this metal to compete uh basically in a lot of situations but at the same time you can clear a lot of the content without it and i've showed that on my free to play account many times so if you guys just want to save your jewels and wait you have that option as well uh new illustrated Xion ex buffs reverse buffs and does exactly what Kyrie x does for every other buff and debuff so it's a falling price deal. This is way better than the Foretellers. If you do not have Kyrie EX and you're going to pull, do not pull for the Foretellers. Pull for the Kyrie EX. Important metal. If you get her, you are grooving. I know it might cost you all your jewels and you might not get nothing, but it's it's your best bet to compete in this game because Kyrie EX makes every other metal in the game a monster. This metal makes other metals super powerful so it doesn't matter you can use metals that are not guilted right now and compete in the hades cup you can complete the hades cup with non-guilted metals and a friend metal that is guilted and you guys will complete the hades cup because of Kyrie ex alone huge banner if you don't have her go for it 
If you do have her, then you have your options opened. So that's my advice to everyone. Uh, organization 13 events. Hey, so basically it's a chance to get all these medals back. Each one has its own day, so do not miss out. You guys can see right here. I don't know how many copies we get. I read over this a little bit. It doesn't say how many copies you get, but in JP, they got four copies. Maybe they'll give us only one copy here. If you guys know, leave in the comment section, but most likely I'll be doing a video for this to go check it out. Uh, remember, they change daily. So on Friday, we're getting Zemnis, Zigbar, then Zaldin, then Vexen, so on and so on until they're gone. So they're here for the 13 days, as you guys can see. So don't miss out on this. Do not miss out on this. This is really, really important. Because <laughs> meadows like Sykes B and Zigbar B and uh, even, where is it? Where where, 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 where are you? Where are you? Zaldin B, very important meadows. Meadows like, uh, where is it? Demix? Is it Demix or is the other one? One of these meadows are random and they're a buffer. I think it's Zexion. He is a random attack metal and he also buffs your strength. One of these metals, the magic ones, very important for proud mode, quest 160. So do not miss out on these medals. They're not terrible, especially now that we're going to get traits, especially Saix over here. Not Saix. Oh, totally wrong. Um, I said that wrong, didn't I? Or is it? No, it is Saix. Uh, Saix B. Yeah, that's the one you guys want to be going for. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Go to the metal list real quick right here. Saix B. Huge multiplier, especially if you guys copy this with your copycat medals and if you get a trade on it. I got raid damage on mine because I got this before. I have all the organization medals guilted and they are very, very good. So don't miss out. I believe it's you. Yeah, a random attack, raise a strength by one tier for one turn. Very important for quest 160, for a lot of proud quests and for a lot of events that just say you have to use random medals. There's not a lot of random medals in the game. So keep these guys separate if you guys really need to as well. You don't need to guilt it, but um, it's all up to you. So that's pretty much all the other notices. There's no guilting campaign I checked. There's no storage increase. I don't know if there's a storage sale. Usually there's a storage sale. Not usually, they've done it before where storage is half price, 50 jewels instead of 100 jewels. I can't tell because my storage is max on this one and my free to play account, so I can't do anything about that. Or at least I think my free to play account is max. I can't remember. Uh, last thing that I wanna go over is the limited time EX foreteller deals. Again, if you guys have Kyrie EX, my last video explains everything about these medals. Um, actually, let me just, uh, let me release that right now because I haven't published. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. It was uploading this whole time. Uh, my feelings on this are a little bit here and there. One, if you have Kyrie X, this is a great way to get another medal that you don't need to copy your Kyrie X as much. Basically, you can have one Kyrie X, copy it one time, and then put this medal, or even just Kyrie X and this medal, you guys are set, but they have to be early together, which you can do because of how many buffs and debuffs these medals have. You don't have to worry about putting them on the late end of the Keyblade. You can put medals in the beginning of the Keyblade now because of Kyrie X. So those beginner multipliers are really high. You're, you're laughing. You can basically go with, every, uh, with every, whichever slot you guys want. So... Out of these five medals, guys, uh, you want to go for the one, the two important ones that stand out are Master Ava uh, and Master Eva, Era, sorry, Era. Uh, I, I don't think I'm saying it right. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying the name right, but the first one up here, it has an upright strength buff, and then it does the PSM down by seven tiers, defense down by two tiers, all that and inflicts more damage with one enemy. So basically, these medals are AoE, but also single target. They're better single target medals than they are AoE medals. As for what their buffs and debuffs look like, I'm gonna show you guys right now from the same image as the last one. Uh, when they're a single target, when they're facing one enemy by themselves, they have a multiplier of 13.56. When they're facing a group of enemies, they're AoE and they're 9.96. So they're two in one, basically, if you guys want to look at it that way. Because 13.56 is a very high multiplier. Uh, random attack medals like Goofy are like in the 17s. Aqua that just came out is in the 15s for a single target, where these guys are hitting pretty close to the cap of being really strong. Now they're tier seven, so that's why it's so high because they're multiplying by times three. So their 4.52 is being at full guilt times three, which equals the 13.56 for single target. Now again, the unique ones here are the two in the top right now. You guys can see my uh, slideshow here, not a slideshow, my picture here. 
The two at the top are the most unique ones, are the best ones to go for. And the ones in the bottom all do the same thing. Um, one of them, the Aced, he has a single hit. So he's really good for high score challenges. Uh, Gula deals three hits. And then the other one, again, I'm not going to pronounce these names because I'm probably going to butcher them. And I apologize. But basically those three down there are just brute force. If you have Kyrie EX, you don't need all those buffs and debuffs because you can just copy your Kyrie EX and you guys are laughing. That is what you guys want to go for is copycat medals, get extra attack. If you don't have extra attack, you guys can copy Kyrie EX and these buffs don't matter. It's all about that multiplier. Again, my last video explains all of this. I just want to show you guys um, what these medals are, what they do, and also the value of them. They only cost one SP. They're tier sevens, which makes them really good high multipliers. But again, the buffs and debuffs do not matter if you have Kyrie X. If you don't have Kyrie X, then you go for the one. Well, you should obviously go for Kyrie EX over all these. But if you decided you don't want Kyrie X and you want to Mercy Pull 60,000 jewels or get super lucky, or if you did get super lucky, the metal you guys want is the one that works with your Keyblade. Um, Gula, if you have Fairy Stars, if you are good with Frenrir or Olympia, you can go for Aced and Gula. It depends what your Keyblade slots are, but Ava has a very unique PSM defense buff and uh, Ira has that upright strength buff. So those are the two unique ones, but uh, these medals will get... My last video explains it. They, they, they are not... They're all classed already when you have a Kyrie X, um, but they also will get L class very soon as well if they keep going the speed they're going at with releasing these medals compared to the other tier 7s that are coming out. They're really good medals, don't get me wrong guy, uh, guys, but for what they're asking, the 20 pulls, I don't think they have that value in them. Especially at the speed we're going and especially what we do have already and if you guys have a Kyrie X I keep repeating myself, but it's very important to know this <laughs> So if you want to know more check out my other video that says that shows all of them on the thumbnail It's the previous video to this one. I go into more detail about all this But here you go choose the one that works with your keyblades with your metals with your keyblade slots with your copycat metals The two in the top are the unique ones the three in the bottom are just brute force <laughs> they have buffs and debuffs that all other medals have including your buffing Kyries. So up to you guys what you guys want Personally, I would go for Ava because of that unique defense buff while being a heavy hitter and then Ira because of that upright strength buff to complement your triple cast uh, Kyrie EX So that's pretty much for this update if I missed anything. Let me know in the comment section uh, hopefully I didn't go over too much. I'm not putting the foretellers down guys. They're very strong medals and they take away a lot of setups you don't have to use. You can now use them alone for single target and random and have so much damage. But they're not needed and you don't have to throw a bunch of money to get these metals. They're not going to change your gameplay drastically. Especially when you guys already have metals like Illustrated Goofy. Uh, when you have metals like the Tune Metals. So on and so on. If you guys have certain metals, you don't need this. Especially if you have EX metals. If you have Sephiroth EX, Roxas EX or uh, HG Shion EX, any of the EX medals, you also don't need to pull for these foretellers. The unique thing about the foretellers is that they uh, they skip the enemy's counter so they don't affect the counter and doesn't go down. But if you have Kyrie X, the counter goes up every time you cast a Kyrie X so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so that's it for this video. video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.